I was supposed to go to a spirit today, but I didn't make it. So we're doing a vlog. I don't like doing vlogs, but if you guys watch the whole video and you enjoy it, let me know if you want to see more vlogs because I'm totally open to making vlog videos because they're kind of fun, um, to be honest. So I got this um, Jack Skellington from Home Depot two days ago. He's really cute. Look at this guy. Really cute. And then I got this from Big Lots like a month, almost a month ago. I got it on like July 29th, like a couple more days and it'll be a month. I have a great river just chilling right there. Um, here's all my Halloween plushies. Uh, here's this uh, Sam Stud sticker next to a Carbomatic pumpkin. Spirit Halloween, uh, the the swag bag last year uh, from Flagship. I have the Reaper's Island sign along with my inflatables. Not all of them. I have some Crouchy stuff. I have a Crouchy cup, Crouchy mug right there, the magnet, uh, hugs. That's last year's model. I got it from Walmart. Not It's not the 2022 Lowe's one. I got this jumping spider from Party City years ago. He's not working. This uh, Sunstar. I got this at um, Halloween Club in LA. Um, I did not just order this guy. Why would I order from Sunstar? I just liked him. Um, I would say he's like the knockoff Bug Zombie, but he actually came out before Bug Zombie, so can't really say it, but it there is a resemblance if he came after he came out after bog zombie he'd definitely be just a copy of bog zombie uh 72 ish standing grim reaper he's actually over there because i don't want to destroy that box so that's a box from 2014 it's in great condition don't want to mess it on up even though i have stuff standing on it right now young crouchy's box um zombie swing girl she's down there um i don't know why michael myers foam because his box is all beat up and doesn't fit um, a lot of those animatronics are still in their boxes. I mean, Nightcrawler's still in his box, Flaming Scarecrow's in his box, Warrior's in his box, all the Jumping Spiders are in their boxes, uh, Little Nester's in his box. Uh, experiment number four right here is actually brand new in the packaging still. I'm gonna go ahead and try and open it with one hand. See? All taped. I don't know when I'm gonna open him. I got him after Halloween last year and just haven't opened it yet. Feels very cookie box, uh, Hello Kitty thing. I'm gonna give it to someone. Um, I do like it, but I got another one for myself. I wanna give it to someone. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to give it to. Uh, a crippled little skelly bones. He's broken. doesn't work. Menacing Molly, which I repaired. Um, you can see that I took wires out of the control box and soldered uh, another piece on because uh, her plug was not working. So I had to take it out of her, like, the thing that the power source out of the battery. It's hard to explain. Took the power source out of the battery compartment and then just transferred it over so I can use it as an adapter. Different plug because the normal plug was all broken, all... Um, I don't know. Hard to explain right now. I'm tired. I didn't, I stayed home from school today and I was sick and my dad was working, so I didn't make it to spirit. That's the reason why. I got these posters. These are all this year's posters inside the factory box. Um, yeah, that's about it for this room. Uh, two bathroom boxes. Oh, I'm going to show you guys something cool. So I made this abomination. It took like two hours because it kept falling over. I just took two poles from my other bathroom and threw them on them. It seems like an easy task, but it took a while. I had to take the other clothes and attach it to those clothes. And it looked nice for a while because this chain was attached around there. But it just fell off like five minutes ago. Um, really making me angry. It, it, it looks like he's about to fall over, but he's not. He's just very, very front heavy and because his scythe is moving. Um, here's him compared to Mr. Dark. Mr. Dark is about nine feet tall, fully risen. And then he's right there. We're counting his horns. Um, if he sets off again, I'm just going to plug him because he's getting really annoyed. Oh. Okay, buddy. Um, yeah, this is him compared to Mr. Dark. I mean, Mr. Dark's like nine feet tall, fully risen, 8.8 .8 feet tall. He's 12 foot. I mean, he's like 11 and a half foot. But we're going to count his horns and make him 12 foot. He's 12 foot. He's really awesome. I would love to have him. Um, in the middle of everything on Halloween this tall, but I feel like he'd fall over and I, I would rather just have two Baphomets. Um, I really don't need him 12 foot because no one's gonna be looking up at this guy. I don't think he's pretty skinny too. He looks pretty nice, but his other chain fell off, which is very unfortunate. Um, so yeah, this is my 12 foot Baphomet. Um, a, a little stupid, but I mean, he's cool from a distance, I guess. Yeah, so this is my yard. I have over 40 animatronics and like three 12 foot inflatables plus another seven inflatables. Yeah, um, I can't fit everybody on here, so I'm gonna have to use my driveway too. Next year, I'm gonna have a bunch. I'm gonna probably probably move over to that little neighborhood park over there. It has nothing in it, it's just grass. Um, but yeah, this this is my yard. It's extremely small. Uh, I have to fit everybody in here. So yeah, it's really hard. That's why um, I'm not buying as many props this year. I could buy almost all the props I want. I really want Possessed Pumpkin. I could buy him. Uh, I really want um, the Oogie Boogie. I really want him from Home Depot. There's a bunch of props I can get this year that I have the money for. I just have no room. Until I know for sure I can move over there and I get permission to use, to use that house's um, um, 
outlet um i can't i'm not really gonna buy anything else big i already got terry the clown i'm gonna get like two more animatronics but i want to get more animatronics but i literally can't because i have literally no room here like it's really making me upset um i could put them back here but i really just want them all in the yard i'll have to figure it out Here's my messy garage. I have Hauntress here. Um, Sam is missing his lollipop. So I bought another lollipop from Spirit Halloween. Hopefully it'll fit. I'll have to pull that out and hot glue another one in there. I have some Eastern Plato's in the back. Opposite side here, we have Sydney Scarecrow. He's completely broken. He doesn't even have his bowl. I mean, his head doesn't go down anymore. He doesn't snap up to scare you. He just makes his sound. And he rarely does it, only sometimes. I don't know why. He just randomly does it. I have Spirit Bag there and I have Spirit Bag on the floor. I need to clean this up. This dog looks like what my dog looks like when she wants a belly rub. Well, I can't really tell because, I mean, he looks more dead than he already is. I mean, look at him, he's a skeleton. Why are you sniffing zombie swing girl's feet? I mean, I mean, well, enjoy yourself, buddy. I mean, go for it. You want to? I mean, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little vlog or whatever. This was actually pretty fun to do. If you guys enjoyed it, like I said, I mean, uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to do something like this once a month, towards the end of the month, just to show what's gone on during the month. Like, the end of August vlog is right now. I could do an end of the September vlog, end of October vlog, which is basically just Halloween, preparing for Halloween. It sounds pretty fun. I had a pretty fun time today just going around talking about stuff. I mean, it was just a filler because I didn't get to make the spirit today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I'm going to have a word with this dog that's sniffing zombie swing on sweet because I kind of want to join.